Thanks for viewing this Road Highlights video, as we're calling them. We uh, want to put these together on occasion, especially when there's news to share and updates uh, as we go along. And certainly that's the case today with, I think, what you'll see in some of the presentations in this brief video. So, uh, you know, when folks uh, place membership at McDermott Road, and a lot of folks have done that even during the pandemic, uh, there's always two things that I like to say uh, you need to do, and that is life groups and adult classes. We're very thankful uh, on uh, February the 21st uh, that we uh, were able to pull our life groups together again and begin that process this year. We had uh, somewhere between 250 and 300 people who met, some in their homes, uh, some online, and uh, new families were joining. So glad to have that uh, off and started. And if you uh, uh, not in a life group, then please contact me and we want that to happen. But you know, another thing has been our, uh, in the past before uh, pandemic was our Sunday morning Bible classes. Uh, our Sunday morning Bible classes are, were structured along uh, certain age groups. And we're starting our classes back up, but not on Sunday morning just yet. We're starting them on Wednesday night, March the 3rd. You should have seen by now a couple of forms, one that's gone to parents to pre-register the kids, and even one now that's gone to adults to help us uh, kind of know how many to expect on that first Wednesday night. And that, what we've done, we're duplicating those Sunday morning classes as we start and placing them in Wednesday night. So this Parents of Teens class on March the 3rd will be meeting and you'll have the opportunity to say, hey, I'm gonna come back to my Sunday morning class on Wednesday night. Uh, those friendships that you had before in that class, those will be the folks you get to meet with and study the Bible with. So for instance, as I, as I believe, in this classroom, there's a lot more than studying the Bible that takes place. There's relationship building and there's sharing and there's prayer. So I hope you'll take advantage of, of coming back together uh, with us on that Wednesday night. And uh, if you, it's convenient for you and if you're able to, uh, take a look at that uh, form and indicate your uh, desire to be with us. The one exception to what I just described, the class that Ian Fair taught on Sunday morning called Family Builders, that class is gonna meet in the auditorium and Wes will live stream his class to those who still want to watch online. Uh, we miss you and we look forward to seeing you perhaps uh, very soon. Thank you. I have enjoyed our online Bible studies over the last few months, but I am very excited to get back to having in-person Wednesday night Bible classes. In addition to all of the great adult Bible classes that will be going on around the building, I'll be teaching the class here in the auditorium. And this class will actually also be live streamed. So if you're continuing to participate online, you'll be able to find our Wednesday night Bible class at seven o'clock on Facebook, YouTube, and ccmcdermott.org live. This quarter, we're gonna be studying the book, Who is Like the Lord by Dr. Dwayne Bryant. There is nothing more relevant for our lives than good theology, because you can't worship or serve a God that you don't know. And the more we come to know the Lord, the more it transforms not only the way that we think, but also the way that we live. And so I'm very excited to get to know the Lord just a little bit better with all of you this quarter. And now Rosalind and Mikey are gonna tell you about our children's classes. Hi, I'm Mikey. And I'm Rosalind. And we're so excited to start children's Bible classes again in person on March 3rd. Every Wednesday at seven o'clock p.m., we'll be here waiting for you, and we're so excited to see you. Things will look a little different when you're in class, in Bible class now. All of the teachers and elementary students will be wearing masks. The tables might be arranged a little differently, but you're still going to find classrooms ready to welcome children of all ages. The teachers will be here and they will be ready to teach our young ones about God's Word. There'll be some new friends and there'll be old friends that we haven't seen in a while. But first, there's some things you need to know before we get started. Parents will need to complete this pre-screening form online the day of or the day before class each week. When you complete the form ahead of time, we will pre-print the name tags for your children. You can pick those up at a table in the foyer when you arrive and skip the check-in lines. If the pre-screening form isn't completed in advance, you will be able to fill it out at the check-in desk. In the downstairs hallway, we will have signs directing traffic one way in the hallway. 
We do ask that only one parent drop off and pick up children from Bible class. Upstairs, students can be dro dropped off and picked up at these double doors. A volunteer will escort them to the classroom and parents won't need to enter the hallway. There will also be a check-in kiosk upstairs for families with older students who would like to check in up here. Of course, if the time isn't right for your family to come back in person, be sure to know that you can still find online resources in our children's Facebook group. We are so excited to welcome you back on March 3rd. And as always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me or Mikey. See you soon.